Calculating Current Using Charge Flow and Time by kscience.com. The equation to calculate current is current equals charge flow divided by time. The symbol of current is a capital I and the unit is a capital A for amps. The symbol of charge flow is a capital Q and the unit is a capital C for Coulomb. And the symbol of time is a lowercase t and the unit is a lowercase s for seconds. This equation can be simplified to I equals Q over T, which is just current equals charge flow divided by time. To understand how to use this equation, let's focus on the question, what is one amp? To answer this question, here is a diagram of a close up of a metal wire. The red circles with crosses represent the positive ions in their regular lattice structure and the blue E's with arrows represent the electrons flowing in one direction. This is the electric current. In this diagram, one coulomb of electrons are flowing. This is what is known as the charge flow. Remember, coulomb is the unit of charge. Charge is how we quantify a very large number of electrons. In this diagram, this point represents zero seconds and this point represents one second. So from zero seconds to one second, this is how many electrons have flowed in one second. The one second it takes for the electrons to flow represents the time. Let's now lay out the data so we know what to calculate. Q equals one coulomb. T equals one second. The equation is I equals Q over T. So we write I equals Q over T underneath our data. So to calculate the current when one coulomb of electrons are flowing in one second, we write I equals one coulomb divided by one second. I equals one amp. Therefore, one ampere or amp is equal to one coulomb flowing per second. Another way of saying one amp is the rate of flow of charge of one coulomb per second. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's go through a worked example to practice using this equation. In your exam, you could be given information such as a charge of 19 coulombs flows through a lamp in 9 seconds. You could then be asked to calculate the current through the lamp. As the question says we need to calculate the current, we write down the equation I equals Q over T. I is the symbol of current, Q is the symbol of charge flow, and T is the symbol of time. We already know the unit of current is amps, the unit of charge flow is coulomb, and the unit of time is seconds. In any calculation question, it's really important to put a square around the data. There's a charge of 19 coulombs, and the time is nine seconds. The question is asking us to calculate the current, so we put a square around this as well. We now clearly write out the data where Q equals 19 coulombs, T equals nine seconds. So now I equals 19 coulombs divided by nine seconds. The final answer is I equals 2.1 amps. A second worked example is, calculate the charge flow in this circuit in 15 seconds. In the exam, you could be given a simple circuit diagram where there is an ammeter reading next to the ammeter on the circuit. The question is asking us to calculate the charge flow. So we draw a box around this so we know what we're calculating. We've been told the time is 15 seconds and the ammeter reading, so the current, is 1.5 amps. 
we already know the equation to calculate current is I equals Q over T. As charge flow is being calculated, this equation is rearranged into Q equals I times T. So to calculate charge flow, we need the equation Q equals I times T. The ammeter reading tells us I equals 1.5 amps. In the question, we're given the information it takes 15 seconds. So T equals 15 seconds. Inputting this information into the equation, Q equals 1.5 amps times 15 seconds. The final answer is Q equals 22.5 coulombs. This means 22.5 coulombs has flowed through this circuit in 15 seconds. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.